taking so much damage and you're just questioning, yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> She's so low to the ground, how is she hitting me for so much damage? Yeah, and you know, that's what she also is as a, as a character, is she gets that one down tilt at 0%, right. you could be going from 0 to 60 easy. Oh, very easily, if you if you have any of the, if you have like Sam Sora on Twitter, he just constantly posts tons oh my of, gosh, tons yeah. of combos. Yeah, and Sam Sora actually being another player that we have in Florida, in mm -hmm. South Florida, man, Florida's the land of the peaches in my opinion, we got Mutes too. Oh, All right, yeah. Oh, Dark Samus? Yeah, we got a Dark Samus Ooh. and a Daisy on stream, and we got those new characters coming out. I always enjoy oh, seeing yeah. um, how the uh, players um, have adapted around these new characters. Of course, Daisy not being much different from uh, her Peach as a Peach Echo, um, other than the fact that her, her box and her idle animations are different, which uh, leaves her her limbs a little open for other moves to hit her while Peach doesn't. But right. these winky faces coming out from Saj, also the RNG master, but we got a tech going on and Dirty Dan! Dirty Dan! Oh my Dirty God. Dan, are you able to come back? Another winky face! Another oh, winky dude, face! The, the sniping! Taking, Taz has taken out like over seven winky faces and it's only been less than a minute on the stream! What kind of luck is that? 204% mostly I, from turnips? I, oh my God! <laughs> That's too much! That was literally the RNG golden token here and just... <laughs> Taking out that first stop with the Falling Fair, literally all that damage coming out from Turnips. Yeah, that, that edge guard on the left side just lasted forever, and Samus has a pretty decent recovery and couldn't make it back at all. That's okay, that's, a, that's a big start already. We're talking about e explosive games here, but we got an explosive start here <laughs> in this yeah, set. Yeah. Don't be caught off stage, I guess, versus this Peach, because the turnip the turnip play is so solid. Just the the sniping of this Daisy. Oh my god. Like, Turnip is MVP this game. Almost oh, definitely. Turnip, I would say, is way better in this game just because it, it can be so intimidating uh, offstage against Peach and Daisy, where if they hit you with the Turnip, especially if you don't have the best recovery, um, you're definitely going to struggle. You know, she's going to be able to float by the ledge, Z drop Turnip, float by the ledge, either, you know, hold Nair or punish you again with dropping the Turnip. So yeah. it, it's, it could be intimidating. It feels like Dirty Dan actually can't get much start. Even the neutral, it feels like Daisy's keeping a distance and just playing very, very patiently with this lead. This is looking real rough for, for the Dark Samus. Yeah, I yeah. know Dirty Dan actually used Mario in um, Smash 4. Ooh, so many up airs. You don't want to be caught above Daisy. No, not at all. And in on FD, you really don't have a platform to mix up your landing here. No, so you're stuck. Really yeah, you're stuck, basically. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. No, <laughs> turning around that situation. And although he's at 100% on his last stock, he can still make this comeback. I mean, that's you'll take that. 27% oh, no, he couldn't get his tether. Oh. His tether didn't reach the ledge, and he got hit with the yeah, turnip the in the middle the of it. That's very unfortunate. Again, all three stocks were taken out by turnips. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, and and I don't even know how like Saj took out over seven winky face turnips just off of that one ledge guard. He took <laughs> out seven of them, and literally not even a minute had passed on on the timer. The RNG gods. I'm gonna fist bump Saj after this. Maybe I'll get good luck for the rest <laughs> of the <that> bracket later. <laughs> All right, oh, going into this game too, pretty dominating performance from Saj, but Dirty Dan getting that tricky little sneaky downer by the right side of the stage there. Dot Eyes opening up the stream, oh opening God. up this game too. Oh, and the regret. Oh, he's at 50. He oh he's at 50. God. He the literally turnip combos. Literally, the Dot Eyes allowing him to extend there with that percent lead already here at the beginning of this game too. For sure. I like the attempt at the cross from the down air there coming from Dirty Dan. You saw he was trying to land behind Saj, but Daisy being, uh, of course, powerful echo of Peach, having a good get off me tool out of shield, especially with that Nair covering both sides. Mm -hmm, for sure. Ooh, Great nice parry, parry, but unfortunately, missed space that forward smash. Yeah, not much you could do about that. Okay. Okay, right. keeping, keeping both of them trying to fight for center stage. And the combo is coming out from this Daisy. Every time a hit is hit, you get like 50, 60%. Yeah, I like the low recovery coming from Saj there. Mm -hmm. Dirty Tra Dan yeah, trying to get in for the down air. He's like trying to avoid that down air too because uh, Saj recognizes what happened that last game and doesn't want it to get repeated. He wanted to go for <laughs> that three stock. Man. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get KO'd at 23%. Okay. Got the charge shot on deck. Will not hit its mark. Uh, perfectly spaced fair. 
Oh, the wall jump into back air. Dirty Dan. Yeah, coming in with the sneaks. Dirty Dan having some tricks up his sleeves. Yeah, I like the way that he's uh, charging off of stage. Any uh, opportunity that he gets. Still, though, this is a three to three stocks to one lead. High for grab. Saj. Yep, catching Saj. Saj having to come back to the stage using Parasol to uh, hit him. But Dirty Dan managing to take out Saj's first stock. Mm -hmm. Saj still with a significant lead. Very, very similar to what we saw at game one. Although, oh, oh the down air. And he had used his jump and he didn't tech. So that's going to be the set. Saj taking it pretty convincingly yeah, over 